everyone! So I'm going to be sharing with you today my Pokemon Tony Moly collaboration haul. And if you followed me on my blog, you'll know that I'm a huge, huge Pokemon fan. I have all the games. I've been to the Pokemon Gym in Osaka. I've gone to the Pokemon Centers in Tokyo. I cosplayed as Pikachu. I've dressed up my dog like Pikachu. I am a huge Pokemon geek. So I was really, really excited when this collaboration started. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you today some of those items. First up is the Pikachu mini cover cushion. And as you can see, the packaging is really super, super cute. Uh, like I said, it's a mini cushion, so the size is much smaller than your typical cushion, but it's really good for traveling or when you just need to stick something in your handbag, in your small handbag, or um, just for touch of just taking it around with you. I think it's really good for that. When you open it up, there is, of course, a mirror and a super cute Pokeball puff. I haven't actually brought myself to use it because I don't want to get it dirty, so I've been using other puffs to actually apply the product. Inside you can actually see the color of the cushion and it seems much darker than it actually is. Unfortunately, it only comes in two colors, which I think is really a shame because they run kind of light. So the first color is number one, skin beige, and the second is number two, which is the warm beige. And I opted for that one just because the first one was so, 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 so light. So if you don't have really, really, really fair skin or very, very light skin, then you might want to go ahead and go for the warm beige. It's actually the color I'm wearing right now. The coverage is actually really good. I was really pleasantly surprised with this product and I found that it covered up all the redness and any kind of, you know, splotches or blemishes I had on my face. So I actually really liked it. It has a very light dewy finish but not as strong as other Korean uh, cushions do. So this one is actually really good if you want kind of a natural glow. Next up is the Pikachu Mini Cushion Blusher. And as you can see, this one comes in a super cute case as well. Inside it has the mirror and the Pokeball Puff. So this is kind of similar to the cushion. Inside, you can see, here's the blusher color. And I know it looks really dark, but it applies much, much lighter than it looks. I went ahead and got the color number two in rose coral, so it has kind of a warm pinkish orange hue to it, but when you apply it, it gives your skin just enough color to make it look blush. Uh, these blushers are very, very sheer, so the lightest color pink fantasy is almost invisible. You can't really see it at all that well. It just gives my skin a very natural healthy blush glow and I really like that. Uh, it applies very easily and one of the things I really like about it is the smell. It smells kind of like a fruity, candy, strawberry kind of thing. And I know a lot of people don't like their cosmetics to smell like stuff, but it's really, really good. I really like it. It's, it's a good selling point for me, but if you don't like those smells, uh, it goes away after a few minutes, so it doesn't really linger on the skin or anything. So that's really good too if you don't like your cosmetics smelling like anything. Here we have the Pudin Peach Pack, which is your basic powder pack. And this one comes in Pudin, which is Jigglypuff in Japanese. Inside, you can see the powder, and there's a really, really cute uh, embossed image of Jigglypuff, which pretty much starts to bathe the moment you start to use it. So relish in its cuteness while you still have it. It also includes a mirror, and of course, it includes a puff. It's not a Pokeball puff, which is kind of a shame, but it's still cute. It comes in number one, cotton vanilla, and number two, cotton beige. So the cotton vanilla, once again, is really, really, really light, so I went ahead and got the cotton beige. I really like this because it's really good for removing all the oil and shine from my face. Also, if you use the Pikachu cushion and you don't like that dewy look, this is a really good solution for that, so you can have your cake too. Um, but yeah, the powder is actually very translucent. So I don't know if you, if you got the lighter color, if it would turn out the same way. But for this one in particular, it didn't whiten my face at all. It just kind of removed all the excess oil and excess shininess. And it kind of gave me this more matted look. So it's actually really, really good. My only complaint would be the actual case, which is kind of a cheap plastic. It's not like the other Pikachu items that I showed you earlier. Uh, this one, I'm kind of afraid if I drop it, it'll break. 
So yeah, just keep that in mind. Here we have the Pika Pika Get It tint. And as you can see, it comes again in this really cute bottle. And I went ahead and got the color number one, which is Clear Coral. It also comes in two other colors, which are number two, Red Hot, and number three, Red Joy. This is the lighter of the three, and it has a really nice pinkish orange hue, but it's very bright, so it's the color I'm wearing right now. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with this product. I really like it. It stains really well. The color lasts very long. And even though the vibrance kind of wears off during the day, you just need to touch it up a little bit and you're good to go. So with all the different tints out there, especially right now, tints are super popular in Korea. If you don't know where to start and you like Pokemon, then I recommend just going with this one because it's really good and you, you can't argue with this case. It's so cute. And if you really want to go crazy, each tint comes with a different Pikachu on the front, so you can just go ahead and collect them all. I know I was certainly tempted to, but I went ahead and just got this one. But overall, yeah, I really liked it. It's a very good product and I really do recommend it. Here we have the Pokemon hand creams and these come in eight different characters, each with their own unique fragrance. I went ahead and got Jigglypuff, which is peach, and Pikachu, which is vanilla. And I really, really like the fragrances. They smell really good. For me personally, I like the fruitier or sweet fragrances. And the Pikachu smells like cake. It smells like vanilla cake or vanilla cupcakes and I'm so in love with the fragrance. Um, other than that, um, the case, of course, super cute, super cute. Uh, there's nothing too special about them. They're your basic hand creams. They moisturize really well. They're not too thin, they're not too thick, and they're the perfect size for travel. So I recommend just picking one up. Right now, they're one plus one or buy one, get one free in most stores and most online shops. So they're definitely worth the investment if you want to have something really cute in your bag or on your vanity. Yes, definitely try them. Next up, we have Face masks. Face masks are everything right now. And here we have the Pikachu Moisture Mask Sheet. And these actually I got for free because I bought so much stuff in the store. Um, but I went ahead and I gave one a try. This one contains honey extract and it has a ton of essence inside. It's very goopy. So when you apply the actual mask, there's plenty left over to kind of fill in the crevices that the mask doesn't reach and put some on your neck too. They work really well. I was really surprised after letting the mask sit for 20 minutes. I took it off, I let the essence sink in and I saw immediate results. It's really, really good for hydrating your skin and my skin was nice and soft afterwards. Um, I use it in the morning and I've also used one at night. So I really recommend giving these a shot. Um, I'm probably gonna go back and actually purchase them. They sell them in three to five packs. So yeah, I really liked them. Here we have two of the nail polishes from their line and there are six total. I went ahead and I got the Jigglypuff and the Pikachu kind of keeping in theme with all the products I've gotten so far. The Jigglypuff is kind of a pinkish lavender color. It has a little bit of sparkle in it and it applies very thinly so you have to apply it maybe two, three times for it to come to a solid color but when it does it's really, really pretty. And I also got the Pikachu which is a clear nail polish but it has confetti in there. It has little lightning bolts in yellow and black and it has red stars and little confetti pieces in glitter and white. It looks really cute layered on top of just your play nail or if you layer it on top of another color, it looks really, really cute. I also got the water decal stickers to go with the nail polishes and they're super, super cute. I'm really excited about these. Uh, there's one that is my friend Pikachu, the other we're all friends. My friend Pikachu comes with mostly Squirtle and Charmander, Bulbasaur and Pikachu. But the other one comes with other characters like Mew and Eevee and Charmander and Togepi and it just has a bunch in there. The characters are really small so they're good if you have small fingers like mine. You don't have to worry about cutting off the characters. And because they're decals, you just need to apply water and peel them off so they're kind of like nail tattoos. They look really cute and I'm really, really happy with this purchase. Lastly, we have the Pokemon Eye Palettes. So these palettes are what I was waiting for. They came out last week and 
these were the last of the line to come out. I think everything else is out now and I was really just waiting for these to come out before I did any kind of review. The Pikachu palette is more of a cool tone palette. Here you can see the colors. Uh, they're all brown, so there are different variations of brown. You get two shimmers and you get one matte color. So this is what has the Pikachu imaging on it, but it's removable so when you use it you don't have to worry about the image going away like you would with the Jigglypuff Peach Pack. For the Jigglypuff, you get more of a warm tone palette. Here you have more of a brown-pink combination and of course the little plastic Jigglypuff cover. Uh, here you have more of a rose gold color. You have a pink and a darker brown. Again, two shimmers, one matte. These kind of cover my wheelhouse of what I usually wear when I wear eyeshadows. I usually go for a cooler brown or a warmer pink and these two have both of those. So they work very, very well for me. Again, they're very pigmented. The colors are very pretty and the cases, I mean, come on. So cute. So cute. So I think it was definitely worth the wait, absolutely worth the purchase for me personally. I think there are better palettes with better pigmentation, um, but as far as the quality of these, the quality is still very good and with these cases it was kind of a no-brainer for me. So. Yeah, absolutely. I love these palettes. Well, that about does it for today's Pokey Haul. So thank you so much for sticking with me. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below in the comment box. I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscription box. I will be coming back to you hopefully each week with new videos on K-beauty and all things Korea related, so stay tuned. If you haven't checked out my blog yet, Soul Searching Net, please be sure to do so. I have lots of pictures and more detailed descriptions about today's beauty haul along with a whole mess of other topics so be sure to check that out. I'll leave the link in the description box below and yeah thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye!